Hi, this is Bob. You probably can hear the furnace running down here in the basement. It's a nice cold spring day. And uh, anyhow, I needed to make some plastic washers. I, uh, I needed six washers uh, to go under some screw heads on a cabinet. Uh, the screw heads would uh, chip the paint. And I just painted this panel on a MFJ9, 986 uh, differential antenna tuner. And so I thought, wow, if I had some really nice clear plastic washers to go under the heads of those screws, it would keep that paint from chipping when I put the screws in and tighten them. So I decided to see if I could make some washers, and this is what I came up with. I only need six, but as you can see here, I've been practicing. Anyways, uh, what I've got here, I've got a 3 8 inch, uh, 3 8 inch hole punch right here and a 1 8 inch hole punch so this is what I've been doing it worked out pretty good I made four washers so far I put this in the drill press now I got quite a bit of clearance right here and the reason for that is I need to get up in there to get this punch in there so I put the punch in the drill press and this is allowing me to line things up better so we'll get the punch in the drill press I've got a 1 8 inch hole punch here, which I bought at Harbor Freight. And make sure I got her lined up okay. Yes, you'll notice I have a thin piece of quarter inch plywood. And I've got it fastened with two C clamps so it can't move around. The idea here is to keep things lined up. I tried drilling these with these hole punches without doing this, without clamping it down, and I sure did mess up a lot of washers that I was trying to make. So I decided to try this. So the thing I'm doing here is I'm clamping it like this. I got the drill press running at a slow speed, and I'm going to punch the center hole first. So here we go with the center hole. That's it. It's punched. Yeah. You can feel it when it goes through. So I got the center hole punched right there. Then I'll take that punch out. These punches are meant to be hit with a hammer, I think. And you can probably do that. But uh, I get much better alignment this way. So the next thing to do is to put the uh, bigger punch in, the 3 8 inch punch. And I find that I get a better centering with these punches if I run them up on the knurled part in the chuck. I don't know why that is, but there's a smooth part on top of these punches. And if I clamp on that smooth part, it's not as cent it's not as well centered. It kind of wobbles. So I put it on the knurled part and it worked all right. So I got the bigger punch in now the 3 8 inch. And I feel it go through. Now one thing I noticed as I was working on this, if you take an Allen wrench, get the light back on, if you take an Allen wrench, you can push it right in here and push out your washer. And there is my washer. Now these washers are going to go under the heads of uh, screws in the front panel of my 986 MFJ differential antenna tuner that I painted the front panel on. And there's how they will go. You can see the washer on there. And that will keep it from chipping the paint when you tighten it down. I saw those uh, on a piece of commercial equipment years ago. Little clear plastic washers. I don't know just where I would buy them. But like I said, I only need six of these things. And I just made the, uh, the fourth one there, or the fifth one. I, one or the other. I think it's the fourth. <laughs> Oh golly, this this uh, floor stand drill press I bought 50 years ago, and I was in Sears, and I'm looking at things in the hardware store, and I knew the uh, the clerk that worked there. His name was Jim, and uh, Jim McCann that was his name, and Jim said to me, he says, "I'll show you the best buy in the whole place." And they had this marked way down, very cheap. 
And uh, I said, what's wrong with it? He says, nothing. He says, they just got this one in and it's been sitting here a long time and they want to sell it. And I said, okay. I said, I'll take it. So we loaded it up and like I say, that was 50 years ago. This is one of the best tools I ever bought. So anyways, I just wanted to show you what I do making those cute little washers and you would, you would not, I, you would be surprised, I think, to see how much work I spent trying to figure out how to make washers that were that were nice and, and round and concentric because getting that center to line up properly is really, really hard unless you got it fastened in something like this. It is fastened rigidly and so it goes and drills at the same spot exactly and makes a nice washer. That's it guys, just a short one here. 73's and good DX.